Well, you guys kept asking for it and asking for it and just kept asking for it. And no, it is not China just yet. You know, I, I gotta get uh, 21,862 likes exactly on this video and I will do China. China isn't fun to do. It's really not fun. I think we've wasted plenty of time in our lives already looking at the cesspit as Europe. It's uh, not very fun to play in a mob, right? No. What we need is more of a challenge and more of a smaller opportunity, but big dreams. That's right, India. In fact, just not even a good part of India, just a real tiny state in India that we're gonna make great. All right, so first things first in the whole Mughal Empire thing, uh, we're not really doing that great. Apparently we're not civilized, which is complete baloney because me as the Mughal Empire, I live in a pretty big palace. Just because the rest of my civilians are starving doesn't mean that, you know, we're not civilized. All right, so the real challenge here is trying to balance this budget so we're not, you know, technically dying, although everything I seem to do, we're, we're basically in the red. So the beginning of our game is pretty much simple. We just wait for this number to tick up, then, then, we, then we press the button. And after, we, after we've done enough pressing of these buttons, we'll be civilized. Then maybe we can do something. We do have a couple of events we can do, such as reforming the Mughal Empire and declaring a jihad on the British, which uh, nowadays, that, that does sound bit insensitive but it's not what it sounds like it just gives us a bunch of land from them it, it's please don't report this to the police all right as much as it hurts me i i gotta teach these peasants how to read um just we're, we're just gonna leave out the, the bits about revolution never teach them that word that's a very bad word to teach a peasant yeah i've got i'm britain's satellite so um I, I just get dragged into like you know some fun places like the second opium war do, nice place for a vacation, I think. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've got a European military mission who want to just come up and teach us how to fire some guns. So sure, why the hell? Wait. Oh, it's a Danish. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I want to be taught how to shoot guns by Danish people. Well, are they bringing their imaginary rifles from their imaginary country? Well, we can finally do this event where we uh, declare a <coughs> against the British, which is hopefully gonna go ahead and give us a bunch of land if I I know this event correctly, which should kickstart our empire and we could slowly build up from here on out. Um, still got quite a bit of work to do as you can probably see right sad thing is i'm trying to build my military here but no one actually wants to sell me any of the goods to build it so uh we're struggling quite a little bit just looking at like my budget as it just goes up and down it's just a ride in itself honestly like where's it gonna go today we're we gonna lose minus 100 or we're we gonna make minus 5 million all right first thing we need to do is we need to take out the sea camp before britain does because we actually have some cores on them that we're, we're gonna go ahead and try and take now my military is now better than them but we will see how this goes the good news is we smash our army. Bad news is I'm going bankrupt to do it. Yeah, we literally just finished that war by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> Look at my balance. Could be worse though. I couldn't just be a part of whatever the hell is happening right now in Europe. You know, I always thought that the birthplace of communism would be in the womb of the United Baltic provinces. What a amazing place. Now, I don't know if this is because I broke free, but I've noticed a lot of these places keep getting Indian revolts. And when they get revolts or any successful revolt, they actually break free from Britain. But I think they're going to cast a spell to retake them. So I, I got to swoop in quickly. Swiggity swoopity coming in to teach you how to Reedy. All right, we just got a little bit bigger. We only got 16 in for me too, so I could save some a few more, I imagine. We can finally hit that big button and Oh, we're free! Well, I don't necessarily know how I feel about this one. I don't even specifically remember allying with Afghanistan, but uh, sure, I'll help you against Kiva. All right, now we got to attempt to become a great power by writing poems. Britain, how did you become a great power? Oh yeah, that's right, you uh, you carved up your empire, you fought all your enemies, you became the number one great power. France, oh, you did the same. Oh, Moogles, what did you do? And it's a poem. There you go, sinned out of the way. We now got rid of our landlocked nation thing. We should make it a lot easier for us to get some goddamn imports finally. Right, this one's definitely the risky play of the game right now. Hold up a second. The Venetian dictatorship. What the hell's going on over here? Oh, there goes the Artmans. Although, it doesn't really look like you've lost much in transitioning to Turkey, honestly. Right now, we got our first reform because people are so angry in my country for whatever reason. And I think we're going to go ahead and just try get some voting in the country just to, you know, kickstart that democracy thing. Oh god, all my population are moving to Peru. Wait a second. 
what the hell's that flag? The fact that Germany hasn't formed and that Prussia's now Republic makes me think that Germany's not going to do anything great in this game. Oh, I know the crucial states got kicked out of Britain's sphere, so I uh, don't mind if I go and yank a bit of the Middle East while I'm at it. Yeah, probably not the best thing we could have taken, but I I'm just sure of snatching up land where I can at this point. There's uh, there's really not much left for us to take. Ooh, we got another Indian rebellion, so we might be able to get even more land off these guys up here. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm really safe scumming with my infamy right now. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got to do it. Oh my god, and Kashmir just broke free as well, which means... Uh, Okay, I, I know in like five minutes I mean loading and saving the game. Perfect. Just carving up my empire one piece by one piece until eventually I can go toward Bren. There you go, don't we look beautiful? Kind of just look like some weird plague taking over India. I think it's safe to say by Oldenburg's flag that things just aren't going too well in Germany. Oh, well, I got the uh, socialists in control in my election and now I can finally secularize our society and get rid of all those negative buffs we get of Islamic law. So, well, hey guys, it's... 1909, I'm making a nation actually function. You know what, I just got an option for the Shadow War, which usually happens when, like, people start a war and they get the event to find alliances or whatever, so I just got one with France, so I don't know what France is doing, but it, it, sure, why not? Uh, you really want me to join this, France? I, I don't think I'm going to be much help, but sure. Although, by the looks of things, I, I, I think they've got it covered anyway. And I, I'm just I'm just, I'm just chilling out in the back seat because as soon as Italy loses, I'm pretty sure that'll knock me into great power. Thank you very much, Italy. Might as well just take out Sikh Empire while I'm here. I've got I've got a pretty big army and nothing to do with it. Oh, I'm at war with Japan because I think they were friendly with the Sikh Empire, which I didn't even realize. But I, I'm not that scared. I don't think Japan's going to do anything. Oh, and that miss while we just wait for Japan to surrender. And I, I actually became a great power. Well, hey, just gotta deal with those jabs. I, I don't even know what's going on anymore over here, but I, I just, I'm, I'm not okay with it. Why is Germany only just forming? Oh, Japan finally wanted some peace, which means we can now do reform the Mughal Empire. Boy, I, I don't even know what this does, but oh, no, I do know it. This gives us cause on all of India. Oh, my God. Isn't it beautiful to look at? Yeah, ditch the French for the Russians. I think they're going to be more of a help. Ah, truly time to unleash the horde right now. So we're pretty much on par with the British tech-wise. So our armies are capable of fighting each other. I I've just got to hope that uh, I actually managed to get these armies early on or else it's going to be pretty bad. That's right, Britain. And don't you come back. Hopefully T-Series will follow me on Twitter after this epic win. Yes, yeah, so after I beat the British armies, now I'm just dealing with, you know, the Irish armies that turn up. Yeah, the, the British are just on Ceylon looking, um, <laughs> well, they're, they're looking pretty menacing right now. I don't know if they want to come back onto the continent and randomly in the midst of that, Gwalior petitions for annexation, which I, I'm pretty sure that was in one of Britain's satellites. Maybe they like broke free and I didn't realize. Yeah, so as soon as you've occupied all the land and you've added all your war goals, you could just end Britain pretty damn quickly. And would you look at that? We, we actually look like somewhat of a country now, just a bit bit more to take. Wait a second. I just got the Shadow War again and it's an alliance with the UK. D you forgot very quickly what we just went through, didn't you, Britain? Oh god, they're inviting me to the war as well. Is this going to turn into a great war? I get the feeling this is going to turn into a great war, isn't it? I'm going to have to fight the Ru I, I can fight the Russians. I'll take the Russians easy peasy. That was like a four-year war. And I, I, no one really even fought me that much. There were like a few French troops that marched over. A couple Russians, but they, they didn't really get that far. And I couldn't be bothered to invade them back, so... uh. <laughs> That was World War One. Oh my god, I actually can take stuff. I don't think I really deserved any of this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking some of France's colonies if you're gonna offer them to me, sure. Oh god, I've noticed something real cursed right now. Iraq's in America's sphere of influence. Truly cursed. Uh, I like how we're living in a world where Mughal Cameroon exists right next to uh, the Canadian bit of Africa. <laughs> Why did Canada get some? Yeah, I was also looking around my land. I noticed I got Samoa. And on Samoa, you'll never guess what. There's actually an automobile factory on Samoa. The French here were like, you know where would be a great place to start our car industry? Samoa. What's so great about Samoa, you hear? Well, if you've ever been there, it's got a bunch of, uh, it's got a bunch of people, 19,000 of them. They can all work in the car factory. You know what? On top of that, there's no natural resources benefiting the automobile industry, but there is a bunch of fish. Not a naval base either, so we can't import any goods. But it sounds good, right? Oh, I was about to leave it there, but uh, I just had a crisis far over Chile and Patagonia. What the hell? Oh, great. They, they actually want to go to war over Patagonia. This is how we're going to end this playthrough. 
Americans always interfering in Middle Eastern politics and affairs. Get out of here. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Peru's invading Oman. Uh, right, I wasn't going to be bothered to actually come invade Argentina, but here we are. Oh, now you want to white piece America after I've trekked all the way goddamn down here to free Patagonia. And boy, I'm going to do it. You know what? Screw the people of Patagonia. I'll just take a bit of, like, Patagonia. Ah, we truly lived in a blessed age right now with Mughal Patagonia. I can also form Arabia, apparently. Uh, there you go. Mughal Arabia. That's our satellite now. But yeah, I, th I think that's going to be the end of it for now. Germany finally formed, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. Although they didn't get Alsace Lorraine, that's independent because France got dismantled. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you leave a like, hit the subscribe button, leave me any more suggestions down below. And what else do you want me to play? And you know what? I'm not going to play China! Unless you all hit the like button. Then I will play China, but I'll be really angry about it. But it'll get loads of views and everyone will really enjoy it. But you know what? I won't enjoy it. Just like Russia's not enjoying getting invaded by Japan.